there's things that are painful, and I don't like talking about the pain of them because it will end up reminding me at some point in time. So, so what I choose to do is sort of dissociate myself from it. It's putting yourself in a mental state, not thinking negative thoughts, you know, because you don't want to say I'm claustrophobic in here. It's, it's more about uh, I am the character, I can do this, even though it's, you know, 150 degrees in there, it's, it's still fun. I coined the phrase, make the pain familiar, because that's how I train, that's how I approach every job. Playing Mr. Wink in Hellboy, I was swimming in the pool, you know, two hours a day. I was riding my bike to and from set, which was 40 kilometers away, every day. I was walking around with the weight vest on, the wink boots on, with the wink head on, and a towel wrapped around that with a soaking wet. So I would have to pull oxygen in through that wet towel so that my lungs would get stronger. The thing is, is that my muscles are so used to feeling that pain. I know that I have the mental strength because of the physical training that I've done that I can get through the rest of the day and through the rest of the shoot. You need to make it through a 12 to 18 hour day sometimes with a lot of stuff on you and be as fresh at the end of the day as you were at the beginning of the day. That's the hard part. Is, and that's the athlete's mentality that, that pushes you through to the finish line. You know, like, I will finish. I will have that big kick at the end of the race. I always know that dog is very pliable and resistant to torture. He never complains, although he bleeds and cries. You know, so those are the silent signals. If dog is bleeding from a, from a, from a huge gear on his back, you gotta stop. You know, and the, when he played the Angel of Death, the um, rig in his back was so brutal that I think we did draw blood and we said, let's stop it, let's wire it. With Nakajima, he was playing Varan in the 1958 movie, and the scene required for him to walk over this truck, and they blew it up underneath him. It burned right through the costume and burned his grime. He did not yell for help, he didn't cry. He kept on with the scene because he said, until the director said, cut, I kept acting. No speak. <laughs>